So everyone just need we need to gather and be centered so that um, we practice withstanding the chaos, you know, and maneuvering through it. And um, it's interesting. Um, David had asked me to, the CEO of Desert Age Project, had asked, uh, we were going out to circus tent. And so he asked me, he said he wanted to have classes available to everyone, to the staff and uh, at all these different times and before work and during lunch and after work. And I said, remember the YouTube channel because the YouTube channel will, you can do any time. And that's the same for you guys that are here is you can jump on, I think um, Tommy just did Twisty Tuesday, which is pretty cute. So there's um, tutorials and also classes. So if you start to lose your mind or wanna fill your time, I don't know if you start losing your mind, we've probably already all kind of lost it. So. If we want to recuperate and center, then um, remember the YouTube channel is there. It's just under my name. It's free. And again, anything that you want to put towards the sustenance of urban yoga is deeply appreciated. And um, so we go from there. So let's shake it out and reach up to the gods. We'll just continue for the next three weeks, as it were. Do you want to text me your opinions and feelings about um christmas and new year's day then we'll see what we do because normally we do so now the santa claus will be coming at any old unexpected time you may have <laughs> good let's rock the pelvis exhale the elbows back be careful of the furniture david good <sighs> loosen up the Shoulders really pop your heart out in front of your ankles. Good. Breathing. And then easy, rub your hands together. You know, this is the best. The best is to focus on aligning ourselves with the divine. So get your hands nice and warm so that you participate in your own healing. Softly cover your palm over your eyes. Straighten the spine. Relax your shoulders. Let your face be smooth and breathe in and breathe out. And invite yourself to cultivate an intimate relationship with your breath. Invite yourself to be your breath, to breathe your breath, and to follow your breath to your yoga, the yoga that personal inspirational void, that place where we can hook up with body, mind, and spirit, can recharge and rebalance, rejuvenate, restore our center. Breathe in, go up into happy Buddha. Ha, ha, ha. Separate those clouds outside Looks like it should be freezing cold and it's not. Go ahead and open up the ether body around you and then easy and softly kind of move out through that energy and slide on down to your ground yourself. And then gather the sweetness right into your heart because there is so much sweetness. And breathe in and lift up. Oh, exhale, stay in. And exhale, come out wide through the energy body and land on your knees. Lift your chest up, way out, stretch in front of your ankle bones, and then spin that torso around. Good. Good. And then easy, circle the other direction. Oh, it feels good. Keep your elbows a little bigger, Danny. So your ribs have a chance to get sassy. Good, relax that shoulder, Will. 
Aha, and then come back into the center and inhale, lift your arms up overhead, twine the thumbs, drop your head back and let your tongue go out towards your chin. Use your belly, inhale, exhale, inhale, tongue, exhale, belly, inhale, head up, tongue in, stretch up a little more. And exhale, dive on out, cantilever out over the edge of your mat. That's beautiful. That's nice, Dana. Arms are nice and long. Ears are between the upper arms. Tailbone is anchored. Good chest is thrust forward. That's good. Stay forward, David. Stay forward. Stay there. Now breathe. Stretch the fingers. Breathe. Are you breathing? Okay, good. You're still on. Um, you're not muted, actually. But inhale, lift up. And exhale, round back behind your tailbone. Scoop out your belly. Stretch your arms really far forward. Really look over the horizon of your fingertips. That's not really right, but it's the idea. And then spin a little bit side to side. Thank you. That's good. Breathing. Atma, roll the hips, stretch the arms up and overhead. Atma, your soul. Let the hands come down, or the right hand come down off the knee and pulse off at a diagonal. Good. It doesn't matter how far over that top arm goes. You want to make sure you stretch the elbow away from the hip socket. So if you really want a little bit of a thrill, you can go to the surf channel, WSL, because the Pipe Masters is on. Make you remember like your boldness. Sit up easy, happy cactus, swing side to side. Oh boy, let your head go with you. Yep, it's December, big waves, North Shore. Spin, spin, spin. And end up at your right side. Dive over, elbows up, crown of the head to the knee, spill in both hip sockets, both butt bones are connected to the earth. Let the weight of the body, let the crown of the head face towards the earth, have surrender into the fingertips so that your fingertips support you so you don't scare yourself. Twist that upper torso towards the right thigh. It's all good. It's all good to me. Mitchy, march around. Go beyond the left eye. Lift up. Look over your left shoulder. Breathing. Eyes are wide open. Settle into your hips, though, so that you use the mobility of your upper torso against that stationary pelvic pole. Really feel good. Head is up a little higher, David. You can lean on your thigh, even with your left hand, put your left hand on your thigh. Uh-huh, and then you can lift up. So you twist. Hey, breathing. And then easy, Mitchy March, nice. Well, back into the center, Mitchy March, shake, shake. The arms out, up and overhead, inhale. Careful the bed, exhale, slide your hands on down your heart line and dedicate this breath softly and humbly to your body, to the honor and the privilege, and the adventure of housing the spirit in this most sacred of temples. Always use this time that we have together to invite yourself to sustain and increase your connection with the divine. So humbleness, like our humility, and our reverence becomes stronger. Slide the hands on down and shift the feet. I cherish this time with you, actually. It's, the, it's such a nice focus and it feels really good to all be together. So thank you for joining in. Pull your buns back behind you. Fingers are stretched out from your earlobes all the way to the fingertips. 
They're just reaching far away from the body seven times. Breathe in and fly down. Breathe in, press down in the armpits. Make sure you're loose through the shoulders. Good. 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 Two more. One more. Hold the arms up overhead. Breathe in. Breathe in a little more. And humbly slide down the heart line and let the hands reach out to the knees. Lift your chest up. Stretch way far forward. Press down on the knees. That's good. Keep the elbows big so there's room for you to do the upper body hula. Spin around. Make sure you go far enough back, Linda. Spin way behind the tailbone. You almost over. Elbow a little bigger, Andrew. Make the ribs go. That's good. Cha cha cha. And then the reverse. Find your snake. Find your upper body hula. Find that ability of the body to really move those ribs around. Twice more. And easy. Come into the center. Anchor, stretch your arms out, up and overhead. Twine the awkward thumb, drop the head back, tongue out, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, <sighs> exhale. <sighs> Inhale, <sighs> exhale. <sighs> Inhale, head up, stretch up. <sighs> stretch up a little more. <sighs> and exhale, can leave it out over the front of your Goals over the front of your mat. Look down, see if you can see. Where are my girls? See if you can see the. Oh, there you are. Hi, Brenda. Good. Arms a little higher, Danny, but so the upper arms are by your ears. Stick your chest forward. Good. Breathing. Chest forward a little more. <whistles> Inhale, lift up. Exhale, round way back. Let your knees keep you from tipping over. With stretch way back behind. Spread those mountain gates. Look over your fingertips. Swing a little side to side. And anchor the hips. Unfold the vertebra from the tailbone. Stretch your arms up and overhead. Looking up, gazing up, breathing in. And then float the left arm down with the knee, diagonal off the body. Open up the side lungs. That's good. Get the elbow over your ear a little more, David. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. Good. Shine like diamonds in the sun. Yep. I was hoping to get some live music in the tent. All of us socially distanced. Jump back up, happy cactus. So that'll happen at some point. Masked, socially distant, wrapped up in blankets, because it'll be January. <laughs> Spin, let your, head go with, let your shoulders really go way, way. That's good, elbows a little higher, Dan. Elbows a little higher, David. And then easy to the left and dive on down. Elbows up, crown of the head to the knee. Roll slightly forward on the sit bones and let the body surrender down towards the thigh. Be easy with it. That's good. You cut your hair, Andrew. <laughs> Softly torque that upper torso. Really feel the mobility, the subtlety of your body. And then easy, Mitchy march around. Sit up nice and tall. Let the left arm, David, go right behind the, on the knee. And then you can turn and look over your left shoulder. Hold the bottom of the chair, maybe, or hold. let your arm drape over the back. Eyes are wide open, eyeballs in the edge of the sockets. Talk to your guides, talk to your gods. Talk to the ghosts. 
big population these days, sadly. And then easy, Mitchy march back into the center, shim and shake. And then sweep your arms forward, out, up, and overhead. Inhale. And humbly and softly and smooth brow, just slide your hands down slowly down your heart line, dedicating this breath to your mind and to your sweet, radiant, kind and compassionate, your understanding self. Dedicate the breath to your finer qualities, your creativity, your curiosity, your willingness to serve others. And slide your hands down, push your knees together and let's shake it out. Okay, run around on the meridians, get your flow going, babies. It's your flow, your arterial flow, your buns back behind you, your kidneys, your filter systems, side body, you know the dance. Just get everything nice and open. Ah, thyroid, thymus, all this well-being area. It's such a good thing to consciously increase your immune system, to consciously Increase the yoking, the union of your well-being, your breath, and your body. It's a perfect time, as we know. Shake out the hands, wiggle the toes, get the extremities involved, get kind of electric, pull your buns back. We're going to inhale and lift up and exhale, fold over and drop your elbows and shake out the knees. Kind of softly notice the resistance in the back of the body. Easy, well, good job. Just feeling loose as a goose today. <laughs> good, breathing. Soften the shoulders just a little bit. That's good. And then let's slide the hands offside the body, spider fingers off the shins, lift the chest, toes to the nose, alert the body. Come squeeze those outer hips in so you activate your chikimula. Keep your chest out there over your thighs, toes to your nose, little toes to your ear. Breathing. And then point the toes, open the top of the feet. Not you, Mr. Cohen. Ankles are together. Calves pull together, inner knees pull together. Again, almost rise and fold those hips in on each other so you almost rise up off the mat. Yes or no? Go like this. Yes. Feel your action in your chikui. Figure out where your chikui is and you'll get some action, right? Easy stretching. Push the heels, toes towards the nose, little toe towards the earlobe, chest up, out, and over the thighs. Back of the knees straight, cry a little bit. Breathe, try and stretch and let the body begin to become more supple. Let the oxygen move into the back of your legs. Once more, point the toes, open the top of the feet. And everyone, David, no. Ankles together, inner calves, knees together, squeeze the whole body. Reaching out over there going, whoa. <whistles> yep. Look at your legs actually and squeeze them together because the mind loses focus. You know, we think about something else. You just breathe, David. You can sit up and roll your shoulders back. Now push the toes, push the heels, toes to the sky and let's stack the vertebra and sweep the arms up out over the side of the body and bow down. Inhale, just come undulating, letting the body begin to circulate. Good. Let your chin go with you, Danny, when you go and look up at the sky and then bow down. That's it, exactly. 
So we forget to look up, you know, and the sky has been gorgeous lately. Be careful, Andrew, you can always go sideways. Three more, one for the body. Ah, one for the mind. Ah, one for the spirit. Ah, inhale, hold the arms up overhead. Hands come by the side, open the feet up, jump up and down. Pick the table, take out your money maker. Find yourself strong on the ground, right leg to the sky. Move the foot around on the ankle, left leg to the sky. Breathing. You know, just want to feel the openness. Now find yourself strong, eyes stretching away from your waist. Open and close the mouth a little bit. Breathe in, breathe out. And inhale, lift your head up, drop your fanny down, put something behind you and go right away into a little prancing. Strong spine. Good, that's good. Breathing, David, make sure you keep breathing. Hey, spine is longer, point the toes, Will. Just get fancy, prancy, bigger. <laughs> oh, that's good, Brenda's going wild. <laughs> so is Dana's going fast. Will, go bigger. Three more. <laughs> that's it, exactly. Breathing. Okay, pull the thighs to the waist, toes at uh, eye level, shoulders squeeze in, breathe. <sighs> Knees come together, hold the thighs and stretch the legs, look over the toes. Midline, midline, anchor through your, what happened, Danny? <laughs> thighs to the chest, thighs to the chest. You can, that's it, now nail it. Long spine, Will. Shoulders down, squeeze the wing bones together. Good, arms by the side, breathe one, two. Come on, and touch and up, out and over. And pull the legs in and easy. Let's just go immediately into seated happy baby. So fish hook the big toes or grab the ankles and lift that right leg up and lift the left leg up. Find yourself seated, thinking about something else. Now, what? Use your pillow. Oh, that's pretty. Good, shoulders are down. Really push down in your armpits, suck in your belly and stretch the legs. Good job. Oh, that's a little higher. Never heard anybody, David. <laughs> go, well, go, 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 go. Andrew, legs together, arms overhead. One, two, three, and one, two, three, up, out. Forward bend. Good. Oh, that's good. It's hard to drink water in a forward bend, though. <laughs> Easy. Walk your hands on back in softly. Windshield wiper the knees a couple of times. Feet at the outside of the mat. Just loosen up the thighs. Yum. I saw some people last night outside exercising in the pitch dark. We're gonna sit easy. We're gonna sit with either leg in front. Cross-legged, sit on your pillow a little bit so you can get that spine nice and tall. David, you just keep your legs in a nice parallel position. Keep the legs, don't let them flop open, keep them organized. That means almost it would be like for you, David, to have a brick between your knees. But as it, when I see you, I'll give you one. Easy. 
and stretch your arms out, up and overhead. And then let your right arm go offside your hip. You're gonna lift your chest up and just slide that arm out as you pull the elbow over your ear. Keep your, chin, keep your head in line with your spine. Chest forward a little more, that's better, Andrew. Elbow up, that's good. Lee, try not to let that arm get too far behind you. Ah, exactly, you feel the difference? Good, and let the elbow bend. Breathe in, breathe out. And then press down on your legs, breathe into your left rib cage and float up, float up, inhale. Stretch the arms up, exhale. Inhale, lift up. Let the left arm come down offside the body. You can let that elbow be soft and then exhale off to the other side. You're gonna find one side is different than the other. It may depend on how your legs are crossed. It may depend on how your body is resilient. Oh, that's good. Sit back a little more with your right arm. Dave. This time, let your hand go back a little more, your arm backwards. Yes, and then lift your chin. Tuck the front ribs back to the back ribs. One more breath. And then inhale, lift up. Easy, slide down your heart line. Let your hands go out in front of you. Lift your head up and exhale right down to the floor. Let the top of the head go over your ankles. That's good. Your hands can be out in front of you, just breathing, keeping your tailbone anchored. I'm surrendering to gravity. Let gravity open up the spine. Easy, roll back up. Use your hands to help you. And easy, shift the feet. Shift the feet. So you can sit cross there. You sit in full lotus. You can sit in half lotus. You can get your hand, whatever you're comfortable in doing, you might want to, there you go. Why not, Danny? Cook spaghetti. You be careful, Dana. Easy. Arm to reach out up and overhead. Left arm this time goes right down near the body. And over you go. You want to soften that elbow and just kind of stagnant stretch. Lift the chin, roll a little bit forward on the hips, feel it through the side body. Now take that right arm and wrap it around your lower back. Keep your hip down, little one. Keep your right butt down, that's good. Roll that right arm around your lower back. David, you can take it like this. You can take it right behind your waist. Uh huh. And then look up at the sky. Lengthen the neck. That's good. Roll that top shoulder back. That's it. A little more. Breathe in, breathe out. Mm hmm. And then easy. Release the arm gently. I'm just going to come straight up to the sky over your ear. Inhale back up, <sighs> inhale up, and off we go to the other side. Right hand goes down, elbow goes over the ear, slide out, activate your base, your root, your seatedness, stay connected with both thighs. You can bend that right elbow a little bit, Danny, keep the ribs back, sit on the tail, lengthen the neck. Good, Andrew, that's perfect. Lift your chin, Andrew. That's it. Just keep your head in line with the upper back. And now easy, reach that left arm up and wrap it around your lower back. Be careful. Careful, Andrew. And roll the top shoulder back, lengthen the neck. 
That's good. Look up at the sky if you can. Breathing. That's good. Nice. Beautiful. Turning the head. Breathing easy, anchoring yourself, feeling seated and rooted, and exhaling that belly, that lower gut, right back towards your backbone. Stay connected. Fan the flame. Increase the warmth. Increase the space. And easy, release that top arm over your ear. And inhale, lift up. And slide on down the heart line. Hands out in front of you, tip over. Good, breathe. Breathe, beautiful. <sighs> breathe into the areas of the body that have resistance. can always wiggle a little bit so you notice what is and what isn't. <laughs> if only it was that easy. Surrender down, soften down, folded position, finding where your body yields when you take the fear out of it. And then walk the hands back on in. Good job. And easy. Take your hands down and take that left leg and pull it in. That right leg and pull it in. Careful. And windshield wiper, Dan. Good. A little more. Oh, yeah. Be careful of that left foot, David. Back into the center. And easy, you're gonna stretch out your right leg. Sit up on your pillow or your blankets or your brick, something that gives you some height. And you're gonna take that left leg and cross it over your right. You're gonna cross the foot over. I think you can cross your thighs, David. Uh-huh, like you're a casual watching football. Bring your thigh your waist to your thigh. Push the right heel away from you so you're nice and engaged. Lift your chest a little more, Will. A little more, a little more. That's it. The chin is parallel to the ground. Your left arm is gonna stretch out straight up and overhead and arc back behind you, 45 degrees. Use your spider fingers, use your brick, use the ground and slide that right arm on top of the thigh. Hug that thigh into your waist. You can hook it with your elbow if you wish. Good, you can either hug that and bring that back hand closer to your bottom. Back hand, that's it, that's it. And lift, that's it. Oh, beautiful, what happened? That's it. Now your body just decided it was gonna do that. Well, good, breathe. Breathe, Brenda, long in the middle back. Pull the wings together. Lift the chest a little more. Good. Hug that thigh in a little closer, Danny. You can hook it with your elbow. Slide the back hand towards your tailbone, Andrew. Slide that back hand in towards your tailbone, closer to your body. And that will extend your chest up. Uh-huh. Good job. There you go. Don't overextend your chin. You're not looking for all the birds exactly. <laughs> Good, breathe. Ah. Good. Two more breaths. Twisting, breathing, filtering. Increasing the oxygen content in the body, the efficiency of your organs. One more breath. And then easy, bring your body around. Take that left foot, open it up, and circle off to the right side, bend down. Oh my ease. 
easy. Come on back up. Pull the knee in, stretch the leg, pull the other leg, cross over. Flexibility. Willingness. Sit up nice and tall. Hug that thigh into your waist. Put your ribs right against the thigh. That's good. That's good. Now lengthen from behind your ears. Lift your chin a little bit. Well, good. Push that. That's it. Exactly. Breathe in. Breathe out. Nice. Then relax your throat just a little. <laughs> You're about to take off. I can tell in a big wave. <laughs> Good job. And then easy, right arm is gonna reach out, way up, lengthen the spine, lengthen from the earth, beautiful. And arc back around behind you. Get your spider fingers, come near to your right buns, turn the body and then slide that left arm either over the top of the knee or you can hook the elbow and increase the rotation in your spine. That's good. Danny, you can add some cosmic hand mudra so that you don't just have a fist like you're going to punch the gods. You want to put your forefinger and your thumb together. Kind of set up your birthday candles or your antenna. Spin the body. Oh, good. Nice, Dana. Good breathing. That's good, Brenda. You can get that hand closer to your tailbone. Beautiful. Keep a awareness through that front straight leg. Slide the back hand a little closer to your tail. If you want to increase the bind, you're more than welcome to increase the bind. Good job. Wow. Something happened. You all are so good today. Merciful heaven. Good, breathing in, breathing out. And then easy, bring yourself around. Open up that right leg. And spin off to the other side. Spin to the left side. So the warmth that you feel in your torso, the warmth as you keep breathing and squeezing and building that fire, fanning that flame, creating that sense of illumination. And walk your hands back on in and then stretch both legs out in front of you. Pull your bottom back behind you. One time, just a sweet and easy forward bend. Arms up and overhead. Exhale out and equalize the stretch. That's good. Breathe. Beautiful. Bend the elbows a little bit. That's it. And easy with the hands back on in. Guess we got into his game of Twisty Tuesday. Feet are outside. Just go ahead and windshield wiper. Wiper. Windshield wiper. And easy. Come over onto all fours. And go ahead and articulate the spine, cat and cow. And David, you could actually stand exactly perfect. Okay, butt shut. Here you go, articulate the tailbone down towards the earth and up to the sky. Really, again, keep continuing to increase the amount of space in your torso, lengthening and opening the front side of the body and then wag your tail. And roll the shoulders and find yourself in a nice tabletop position. Inner elbows towards each other, shoulders away, belly against the backbone. And go ahead and roll the shoulders. You want to really be nice and soft on this. Lift up your left leg. 
Square the hips, push the heel away. Good. And easy, pull it out to the side. Because we've done so well today. You can let the leg go off to the side of your body, David, and drop the foot onto the ground. Then open up your left arm and look up at the sky. Good. Beautiful breathing. And lower that arm back down. Lift the left leg up three times. One. <laughs> Two. Use your body. Three. Good. Lift it up. Swing it back behind you. Right arm's going to go straight out. Let's work the brain a little bit. Work the brain. Push on that left forefinger, left thumb. Push the earth away. Stay organized. Thrill seek if you wish. Grab that back ankle. Lift the thigh. Twice more. Higher push that kick that foot into the hand. And then release. And easy. Elbow to knee. Stretch the leg out. Elbow to knee. Open up once more. Elbow to knee. Open up and lower the leg and the hand down. Wag your tail. Breathe. Shake your head if you're warmer. Yes, are you warmer? <laughs> it's like dog training or something, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, Lord, you two are funny. Bring yourself back into the center. Remember the stacking of your bones and that relationship with the earth or your chair gives you a lot of strength and solidarity. Roll the shoulders back, stomach is in. Stretch the right leg back behind you, keep the hips even. Go ahead, lift the foot off the ground now. Yeah. And then pull that right leg off the hip, off to the side. Good job. Open up the right arm to the sky. Ah. Take a nice deep breath and lower the hand down. Get solid. Organize yourself. Lift that right leg up three times. One, uh, two. Uh, three, good, and then bring it back behind you. Organize yourself. Remember, anything on the ground is your support. Left arm stretches out. Good, right by your ear. Stretches by your ear, and then go ahead and thrill seek if you wish. That's nice. Knee high, knee high to the 4th of July. No, knee high, thigh high. Kick that foot in the thigh. Breathe in, breathe out. Strong hand on the ground. Breathing would be wise. A little higher in the thigh. And release. And exhale the knee to your elbow and stretch back out. One. Two. Three. Lift a little higher and lower down. Now open your knees. Sit back in child's pose. Easy. Take a nice deep breath. And lay yourself. Let your head slide below your heart. Breathing easy and sweetly. Bowing down towards your guide and your gods. Circulating the energy from your tailbone up to the pineal gland. Relax in your belly. That's good. David, when you get tired, you can just sit in the chair. And then easy, stretch your arms out a little further in front of you. Pull your tailbone further back towards your heels. 
and then dig your fingertips in and you can lift your palms and your wrists and your elbows and shimmy a little bit. Really feel that incredible length in the side body and in your spine, how spacious and gracious it is. Lower the hands, come up onto all fours, pull the toes, I mean the knees into a parallel and easy, you're gonna grab that left leg and draw the foot up between your hands. So you're in a runner's lunge. Good, feet, I mean toes and fingers are in a nice line. You're gonna sink your hips towards the earth. That's good. And check safety first that the knee is over the foot. So you wanna make sure the knee is over the top of the foot. So you need to scoochie that foot out a little bit for safety. Sink in with the hips towards the earth. Lift your chest and look up at the sky. Hold on to the front thigh, look up at the sky. Bring your arms up to the sky. Inhale, strong. Anything that touches the earth is your support. And easy, slide your hands on down, shift off to the left side and get your elbow outside the knee. That's good. Palms are pressed together. Find your balance. Keep your action and your awareness in your root. Lift the chest, keep sliding the thumbs towards your heart. Beautiful. And easy, roll back into the center. Drop your hands by the front toes and just stretch the bottom back. Pull the left toes to your nose. You just rest there, David, and breathe. Hold on to the back of your chair, maybe. Turn your hands, that's it. And, and lift your chest. Kind of clasp your hands. Stretch that left leg, that left hip back. Walk your hands back a little while so you get a little more stretch in the leg. Ah, breathe. Easy, lunge back easy, roll back into runner's lunge, look up at the sky, lift and curl the back toes, lift the knee. Now, if you're able, lift your bottom, step into plank, three breaths only. Rock back and forth so you feel that connectedness of your body. Good. And then easy, drop the knees down. See if you can grab the right foot and drag it to the front of your mat. Good, take enough space in between the heel and that back knee so that you can get heavy in your groin, heavy in your pelvis and lay it down towards the earth. Ah, the gods are, Thor is back. Thor. <laughs> Stretch, oh, good girl. Wow, yay for the splits. All right, Brenda, it's your turn. Now put your hands on your right thigh, roll the shoulders, lift your chin, keep sinking towards the earth and stretching your heart forward, arms up and overhead, strong in anything that touches the ground. Slide your hands down your heart line. And if you need to, you can push that knee in and spin your torso off that left elbow off to the side. Press the palms so the thumbs slide towards your heart. Breathe in, breathe out. Stay strong on the earth. And then easy, come on back down. Hands in line with the right toes. Curl the back toes under and sit back. Pull the right toes towards your nose. Keep that right leg in front of you, Dan. Good, breathe, Brenda, how are you doing? Oh, hello, guys. Good job. You've gotten much better, Andrew, don't you feel it right now? <laughs> Good. Ah, 
Yep. Drop back slightly with that right hip. <whistles> Breathe. Good. Check out your pedicure. It'll be a while now. Self-care. And then easy. Lunge back. Easy. Look up at the sky. Lift up the back knee. Step into plank. And then you have a choice. You can either drop down to chaturanga and easy flow into an up dog flow into down dog or you can just hinge into down dog spend five breaths in down dog you're familiar with this long arms long legs tail to the sky ears between the upper arms squeezing and pressing on all the digits and then easy hinge into tabletop cross your ankles and roll back onto your backs. Krishna. Roll onto your backs and tuck your knees into your chest. Get yourself situated and ready for that shift and relationship with the energy field. When you lay on the backs, the knees are at your chest. You're going to spin the knees in a circle. You know, you have uh, the spine now is made a relationship with the earth. And we've been plumping up those discs with lots of breath and mobility. Reverse the circle with the knees. So you have a different relationship with your spine and your pelvis. You can rock a little bit side to side. And give yourself a nice hug. Tuck your nose towards your knees. And then lay your body down softly on the earth. Drop the feet on the ground with the knees bent. Go ahead and take your left foot over your right thigh. Push that thigh away from you. Take your fingers and dig into your right, just on the inside of your right hip bone, your right pelvic, that crest of your hip bone, and massage around in there. It's the insertion point of your psoas. With this relaxed position, pressing open the left thigh and digging your fingers down around in your lower gut, you may find some areas that, ay, 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 I mean, kind of really dig in there. Don't just pat yourself. Kind of dig around because you're relaxed right now. It's spacious. Digestion, that psoas connection. And then easy, inhale, both arms up and overhead. Take another breath with the arms stretching and the feet, the right foot strong in the earth. One more breath. And on the exhale, flatten the belly, follow your fingers as you watch yourself thread that triangle. Take the left hand through the triangle, the right hand on the thigh, tuck the leg in and relax your shoulders down. Rock side to side. And then relax. Back of the skull is on the earth. You can feel that lower sacrum on the earth. You can feel the spaciousness of your belly. And then stretch that right leg up to the sky. If you wish, you can hold the thigh. If you're in the uh, exciting area, but it's Tuesday, so you can go ahead and take your elbows and go through that triangle, wrap your elbows around your shin bone. You can do it, Andrew, I'm sure. They both, the both arms, they come right inside in that triangle and then that right leg stretches away from you. Uh-huh, and then you try and get your foot behind your head. That's good. Now pull the foot behind your head. 
can slide your hand down the ankle. That's it. That's it. That's it. Breathing. L and L. Go for it. And then easy. Lay your head down. Unhook that left foot. Drop your feet onto the ground and bounce your hips down. And stretch the arms up and overhead, inhale. Exhale the arms to a T. Take your right foot over your thigh. And I'm sorry, take your right hand and press the right thigh away from you. Take your left bony little fingers and start digging around in your lower gut. This is the appendix side, but you may run into a very tender area where the tendons and the connection of your psoas and the tendons of that left leg, you can feel them where they connect into your, in your gut. Wiggle around. Move the dinner around a little. Breathe in, breathe out. And then easy, inhale the arms overhead. Stretch the arms long, keep the right toes to the sky. Thread the needle, follow the fingertips, lift your head and chin up. And as you put the right hand through the triangle, left hand grabs the thigh, tuck that leg in and let your head drop down. Be easy. This is a very personal experience. How are you guys doing? Good. Keep those right toes to the sky. Keep that foot flexed. Breathing. Good job. Relax your shoulders a little bit, David. Good, now easy, stretch up that left leg. And you can just simply stay holding on to the left thigh or you can take both hands, slide through the triangle, up your elbows, round your left shin, I mean your right shin. Lower that left leg out. Grab those, that foot and try and stick it behind your head. What happened to this side, darling? It's good, keep that left foot flexed, Will. That's good, push with the heel, that's good. Stay attentive to the extremities. There you go, all right, girl. Come on, Danny, get your head up there. There you go. Breathing. And easy, lower the head down, release and hug both the knees into your chest. Take a breath, drop your feet onto the floor with the knees bent and bounce your pelvis down on the earth. And then hug the knees back into the chest. Keep the toes to the sky, the knees together. Keep the knees squeezed together at your waist. Arms are gonna go out in a T. Inhale and drop both knees to the left side of your body above your waist, but keep that top knee stacked on the lower knee and let your arm kind of do whatever it might do. You might need to go down and patch around on the hip and the kidneys. You might need to feel a circle. You might need to protect it, Andrew. And then exhale, roll back onto your backs. Use your core, pull the knees into the chest. Big toes are glued together and the toes are facing the sky. Arms are in a T, inhale. 
and then roll to your right side. Keep the knees above the waist. You might need to scoot back onto your hip pad and you'll let that left arm go anywhere that it needs to go. It may need to pad around. This is so you can get back on the computer. Open up, open up. Keep the knees stacked on top of each other. And then easy, roll back onto your backs and let your knees just swing a little bit side to side. Keep the arms out in a T. And then back into the center and go ahead and give yourself 30 big breaths. Tuck the knees in, stretch the legs out. Arms are by the side, breathing in and out. You can hold your head. Don't hold the legs, don't hold the legs. Legs are cantilevered off the body slightly. Hands behind the head if you need to, that's good. Lift the body, you can bend the knees if you need to. That's fine, David, you can bring them up to your waist. Stretch the legs, shoulder blades are off. Shoulder blades, your wings are off. You're breathing like crazy. Low gut moving, low gut moving. 30 more breaths, that's beautiful. Keep breathing, one, two, three, four. Let that belly flatten when you go, Linda. Let the belly flatten, bring the legs a little higher so you get more action in your gut. No, don't give up now. Ale, ale, ale. Last 20. Last 10, breathe, go for it. Breathe everything, squeeze it. And exhale, open the arms wide, open the legs wide, lay the head down. Go ahead and relax. Eyes are closed. Let your body just sink into the earth. Feel yourself completely in that long, gorgeous tunnel. Relax your body. Eyes are closed. <laughs> Breathing softly, softly. <laughs> Let yourself Notice how all the muscles, all the energy circulates and the large muscles drop away from the bones and your face is smooth and your brow is unfurled. Your heart is beating that healthy, happy, holy, reverenced for the body, for the temple, spirits delighted with the attention and care. The mind is soft, releasing any exhale of anxieties, any of those lists or attitudes that try and take your attention, just be hollow, surrender to the support of the mother, to the sweetness of the light and the honey that surrounds you. Allow yourself to hover to heal, to strengthen, to rejuvenate.
that we're in this together, body, mind, and spirit, tribal, with the alchemy of gathering helps us, heals us. Breathe in softly to the navel point. If you wish to leave Shavasana, you can stay and cuddle around in your home. Breathe into the belly and let the breath expand into the toes and fingers. Breath brings you back into the vessel and the thumb slide across the fingertips. Go ahead and exhale your hands to your heart. Oh, my beloved. Turn to the light within this thing to the soul, sing to the within. Amitasa sa se so home. Easy, find your fingers. Place the fingers and stretch the arms up and overheads. Press the palms away from your crown. Step the straight legs together and point the toes and push the heels and wiggle and flutter your eyelashes and re inhabit the vessel. Oh, I'm so happy. Exhale, give yourself a hug, tuck your knees into the chest. Roll off to your either side, either side you wish. Then press up to a seated position that's comfortable for you. Just still keep stirring that beautiful stew, that big pot of love and light and abundance. Arms reach out up and overhead. Palms press together, thumbs and baby fingers glue, open up the other fingers like the petals of the lotus blossom and slide that chalice down your heart line till the thumbs nestle at the breastplate. The sequence of exhaling and the fingertips touching. And again and again in this sacred greeting, this place where we bow and honor and welcome and greet the light that sparkling great spirit within ourselves and others. We know the sameness of our breath and the sameness of our blood. And we thank ourselves for being present and a part of, and thank you so much for being part of this urban yoga, midday strengthening, affirming. Namaste, thank you so much.